Well, there you have it. Action makes all of the difference. Good morning. My name is Ade Swasi, and this is The Conversation on TOS Television Network, your digital first for African news network. And as always, we're bringing you the conversation from Abuja, Nigeria's capital city. Moving straight into stories and happenings from across Africa, uh, we're starting with Ethiopia. Several Sudanese um, soldiers were killed in an attack by Ethiopian forces in a disputed border region. Sudan's military said. Uh, away from that, a French military convoy killed two people and injured 18 in Niger, uh, the government announced. And to South Africa, South Africa said it was being punished for its advanced ability to detect new COVID-19 variants early. Yes, yeah, South Africans, I think, flights from quite a number of countries have banned, banned flights, you know, incoming flights from South Africa because of the new um, COVID-19 variant that was discovered in South Africa. And then the president has said it's not fair to the country to actually have to do that to them. I think that's where this is coming from. And that's it. Talking about COVID-19, I'm bringing you COVID-19 update from across Africa right now. And after that, we're delving into the big story. You're still watching the conversation on TOS Television Network. But before I proceed with the big story, as I always tell you, you have to be a part of the community. Follow TOS TV Network across all social media platforms. It's TOS TV Network on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. And uh, of course, you can subscribe to the channel on YouTube as well. It's TOS TV Network. And you can, you know, watch our shows and anything else on www.tostvnetwork.com. Um, over to the big story. And the focus today is on Lagos NTAS panel was illegal. Well, yes, yeah, so Festus Kiamo, a senior advocate of Nigeria, said that um, the panel is, is an illegal panel because they don't have any jurisdiction, you know, to actually investigate matters of the NTAS and all that. So that's what we'll be talking about this morning. And I have with me Felix Bengadi Terubo, a public affairs analyst, you know, to discuss all of this with me. Good morning and welcome to the show. Good morning. Okay, so let's delve right into it. Festus Kiamo had said yesterday that the Lagos and SAS panel is legal because it is not in their jurisdiction to investigate the federal government and institution like the the police and the army and that has generated quite a number of controversy what what you, how do you speak to that oh uh, well uh thanks for having me once again you're welcome the i think uh, this government and um, the appointees are too quick mm. you know to uh defend the government and uh, what happened last year, and uh, the reports that finally uh, that came out uh, two weeks ago, is what we should all just be happy for, for the human job mm. that the panel did. Mm. So talking about the legality, yeah, for uh, Fesos Kayamo SAN to have uh, come up with, uh, especially Section 21 of uh, uh, the Tribunal Laws of Lagos State, to want to tell Nigerians that uh, because of that Section 21, mm. it has taken away the legality of the whole thing. I don't believe so. Mm. You know, going by what uh, Section 5, so uh, Section 5 uh, uh, C says about uh, that particular uh, laws of Lagos, that's the tribunal laws, it talks about any Nigerian can be summoned. Mm. Any Nigerian. I'd like to read for you. Okay. So, so far, it's just section 5 sub uh, C. To summon any person in Nigeria to attend any meeting of the tribunal, to give evidence or produce any document or other thing in the person's possession, subject to all just exceptions. Now, it's talking about the past of the tribunal with regard to the conduct of the uh, proceedings. And the use of the phrase, any person in Nigeria, it doesn't matter who you are. Yes. Is it trying to exclude the military from persons in Nigeria? Is it trying to remove the police from persons in Nigeria? In the first place, the police, the army, sent their representatives. Yeah. General Taiwo was sent. 
and he gave evidence. He gave his own part, you know, of uh, the whole thing. What he felt was, you know, his own side of the story mm -hmm. at the tribunal. When they knew that this thing is a legality in the first place, why sending their people to mm -hmm. the place? Mm -hmm. Are you getting my point now? So you can't use all these technicalities to want to take us away from the reality of uh, uh, October last year. Mm. You, can't, you, can't, you can't just sway us away. Yeah. And looking at it further, don't forget, same last year, if he's telling us that uh, the state government has no power to set it up, even though Section 1 sub 1 of the Tribunal, laws of, uh, uh, tribunal of Inquiry Laws of uh, Lagos State gives the governor the power to do so, which it did, then let's go back to what the federal government even, even did in October last year. The NEC, the National Economic Council, headed by the Vice President, a professor of law, you know, gave a directive uh, to set up such uh, a panel. He was even the one that came up with it, representing the federal government. Mm -hmm. And it was... What is said that came up with the terms of reference, I also have the terms of reference. I purposely put out all these things so that all of us will be, you know, well guided, so that we don't just pick things out of our head. He came up with uh, the terms of reference, and I will read to you also. The terms of reference are, now, the terms of reference for the judicial panel is, one, to receive and investigate complaints mm. of police brutality, or related extrajudicial killings, mm. two, to evaluate evidence presented mm. or other surrounding circumstances and draw conclusions as to the validity of the complaint mm. and recommend compensation and other remedial uh, measures mm. where appropriate. Mm. Please, looking at everything that happened that this panel, you know, did, which of them have they gone out of the terms of reference that the federal government itself gave? Okay. So, Lai Mohammed coming with his own, yeah. Kayamo coming with his own, although yesterday he said uh, he's not speaking for the federal government, but he's speaking as a lawyer, as a member of the INABA. Good. Mm. That that is his opinion. But I can tell you his opinion is contestable. Yeah. Because you can't just throw these things away. Festus Kayamo was made known in Nigeria by fighting for human rights. Yes. So some of us, we felt somehow listening to him all in the name of defending this government with such things coming out of, you know, from him. I think it's not good for us. You, you mentioned Lai's li 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 um take earlier where he said it was just, you know, fake news. And then Festus is saying, look, you guys do not even have the jurisdiction to actually set up this panel mm. and investigate. Mm. And then I, th I know one of the panel members, I think, had said, look, this is coming because our report does not favor the favor, federal government. Yeah. If it was favorable to the federal government, this will not even come up at all. Yeah. Are you also of that opinion? Yeah, I'm of it because... Um, my, my, the first thing that came out when that report got leaked, it got leaked. Yeah. I didn't mean the report did not get leaked. Yesterday, after listening, as far as I was listening to uh, Festus Kayamo SAN, what came to my head immediately was that, what if this report didn't leak in the first place? Mm. Would have been seeing something differently. Different. Are you getting it now? Different things will have been coming up. No, we won't even have access to probe what has, you know, uh, what is contained Tending. originally. Yeah. Probably they might have twisted it. Some things maybe must have been removed. And the uh, panel, uh, the panelists, the members of the panel of uh, inquiry, w whatever they even want to say, who wants to believe? Because nobody saw it in the saw first the place. Yeah. Thank God it got leaked. We are all able to see it. And that's why... Probably, don't mm. let me say that as why. Well. Mm. Probably that's the reason why these people are scared mm. because now it is thrown open to okay. Nigerians. And again, Lagos State Governor, as a minister, as a commissioner for justice, which I believe, who, who I believe must have advised him mm. before even setting it up in the first place. Mm. So, what are we doing? Why is this government contradicting itself? All in the name of protecting their image, 
and to make themselves uh, the integrity they call themselves. I don't know. <laughs> I, I do hope, you know, all of this isn't swept under the carpet and then, mm. you know, justice and due course is followed mm. at the end of the day. Thank you so much for You're joining welcome. me on the conversation this You're morning. Welcome. And thank you for sticking with me to this time on the conversation. Don't forget the conversation comes to you on Monday. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. That's Monday through to Friday. So you'll be part of the conversation. Follow us across our social media platform. That's TOS TV Network on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. And of course, subscribe to the channel on YouTube. It's TOS TV Network. You can also watch the conversation and other shows that we have for you on www.tostvnetwork.com. My name is Adesu. I'll see you. Thank you. Stay safe. And I'll see you tomorrow.